Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to call the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns and see if we can get a short interview with them. Let's see how that goes. Hey, Roman, how's how's it going? It's going great. You know, running things, as always. How are you holding up? I am doing pretty good. Um, I just wanted to thank you for giving me the time to speak to you today and getting a quick interview with you. Of course, always happy to talk to my loyal fan base. Ask away. Um, my name is Ponky. I am a YouTuber. Um, I'm sure you know that. I don't know if you've seen some of my videos. Ah, uh, yes, I have heard of you. You've been you've been putting out some entertaining videos, Ponky. All right, I appreciate that. Um, I do a lot of videos like wrestling and gaming. Um, lately I've been focusing on recreating some WWE themes and stuff like that. Have you ever thought to yourself if you could have a different uh, WWE theme? music who would be the band you would use for your theme what band would you want to that's an interesting question if i could pick a band for my entrance music i would go with a heavy metal band like disturbed or metallica i want something that really pumps up the crowd and and makes them feel the the power and intensity i bring to the ring as for creating my own entrance theme, I'd want something that's a real anthem, something mm -hmm. that people would sing along with and get hyped when they hear it. Yeah. Maybe a mix of hip hop and rock, something that tells rock. the world that this is my yard now. Understandable. You do have a good theme going for you right now. It is in kind of an anthem theme. Uh, when you come out, it's kind of like you're the final boss kind of type music. Um, how did you come up with that music? Was it you that came up with that specific music? Or did you have to speak with, like, that band Def Rebel, I believe? I had a hand in it, you could say. I wanted something that had a presence, you know? Mm -hmm. I wanted the crowd to feel the weight of my character the moment they hear my music hit. I worked with the creative team and the entrance music production team to craft something that would capture my essence as the tribal chief the final boss, as you put it. All right. Um, what was one of your favorite matches of this year? Favorite match of the year so far? I gotta say, WrestleMania night two facing Cody. The stakes were high, the crowd was electric, and the match proved to everyone that I am the undisputed universal champion for a reason. It was a hard fought battle, and I proved that I am the best there is. That was, um, a pretty good match. It was more than good. It was incredible. Some might even say it was a masterpiece. The cheers, the chants, the electricity in the air. It was all thanks to my presence and my dominance in that ring. So, what was one of the worst matches you've ever been in? Worst match, huh? I always give it my all in every match, but there have been a few that didn't quite go my way. One that comes to mind is my match with Brock Lesnar back at SummerSlam a couple of years ago. I just didn't have my best that night and Lesnar capitalized on it. But I'm not one to dwell on past losses. I learn from them and come back stronger. I, I definitely um, get what you're saying. I don't, for me, personally, Brock Lesnar shouldn't have won that match. I think you should have won. You're damn right, I should have won that match. But sometimes things don't go your way. That match fueled my fire. It made me more determined than ever to show the world that I am the best. And look at me now, I'm the undisputed universal champion, undisputed WWE heavyweight champion. Nobody can touch me. All right. Um, and out of the current roster of today, who would you say would be your top five uh, WWE superstars in WWE. The top five WWE superstars? Well, that's a tough one. Um, there are so many talented individuals on the roster right now. Um, 
But if I had to pick five, I'd say one, me, of course, undisputed WWE and Universal Champion, two, Seth Rollins, the architect and a relentless competitor, three, Cody Rhodes. He's proven himself to be a force to be reckoned with, four, Kevin Owens, a smart and innovative fighter, five, Brock Lesnar. Despite our rocky history, he's a powerhouse and a worthy opponent. Who would you say would be number one if it wasn't yourself? Hmm. If not me, then I'd have to go with Seth Rollins. He's a brilliant in-ring performer, and his character work has been top-notch. He's not afraid to shake things up and take risks, which is something I respect. He's a worthy adversary, and the fans seem to love him. If I weren't around, I'd feel safe knowing that the WWE was in the hands of someone who knows what they're doing. Well, you did say Seth Rollins was, I think, your number two. So, pick a different person other than Seth to be your number one. That's not in your recent uh, top five picks. You're really making me work for this one, huh? But all right, if pushed, I'd have to go with Gunther. He's a force like no other. He's ruthless, methodical, and has that never-say-die attitude. He's the perfect blend of old-school wrestling and modern-day skill. Plus, his character work and charisma just add fuel to the fire. If I'm not in the picture, I'd have no doubt that Gunther would be taking the reins. And with that said, um, which superstar you see breaking out this year that is on the current roster right now? Breaking out, huh? My money's on uh, Montez Ford of the Street Profits. He's got the charisma, the athleticism, and that it factor that's hard to find. He's got the, the makings of a breakout star, and I think this year is his year to shine. Do you watch any of the women wrestlers in the WWE? Of course I do. The, the women in WWE are some of the most talented athletes in the industry. I've got nothing but respect for them. One that's been impressing me lately is Rhea Ripley. She's got a real aura about her, and her in-ring skills are top-notch. Plus, her character work is just on another level, and she, she's fearless, which is one of the main things I, I admire in a wrestler. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with Rhea Ripley, especially after she uh, split with the dump Judgment Day. Um, Her work with Damian Priest has been top-notch, and the feud with Liv Morgan has been great as well. Um, what do you think about the feud with her and Liv and Dom all feuding together? And now they added Jay Uso to the mix, your cousin, as well. The feud is wild, that's for sure. You've got Liv, who's this spunky underdog, with Dom, who's a slimy cheat, and now Jay Uso is thrown into the mix. The tension is through the roof. I gotta give it to Liv for standing her ground and getting on Dom's case. She's not scared of him. As for Jay, he's my family, but that doesn't mean I'm going to go easy on him. This whole thing could go in any direction, and I love it. Yeah, and now that um, Dom and Liv are dating, per se, he dumped Rhea, right? And now Jay Uso is dating Rhea per se, um, in th these recent episodes on Raw, um, what do you think that would cause in a situation with the new bloodline, or you being able to recruit Jay to the bloodline when needed? The whole situation with Dom and Liv is messy. I mean, you've got a guy who, who cheats and lies at every turn, dating a fierce and independent woman like Liv. That's a recipe for disaster. As for the bloodline, Jay is my blood, and he'll always have a place with us. But I don't know if he's fully in the good graces of the bloodline right now after all that's gone down. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this whole thing. But you're, you don't have the bloodline anymore. It's just yourself and you're fighting the new bloodline 2.0. Look, it may be just me for now, but make no mistake, I'm still the head of the table. The bloodline is built on my success and my vision for this family. The new bloodline, 
hey, they're just a knockoff. They're trying to mimic what I've built, but they don't have what it takes. I'm the OG, I'm the original, I'm the, I'm the one everyone should be looking to. Don't matter if it's 2.0, 3.0, whatever, they're all just cheap imitations. Correct. You are the original tribe of teeth. You are the OTC, as you call yourself nowadays. You're the only tribal chief, even if you don't have the Udafala. Um, but aren't you worried of the come up of the Bloodline 2.0, which includes Solo Sokoa, Tomatanga, and Tongaloa, and Jacob Fatu? Worried about them? Nah, not really. I've been through worse. I've faced tougher opponents. This Bloodline 2.0, they may have a bunch of new names, but they're still just like the rest of, they're trying to dethrone me and they're gonna fail, just like all the rest. The chief runs this yard and that's a cold, hard fact. All right, um, that's, that's good. Do you see Jacob Fatu being a future champion? Jacob Patu, he's got potential. I'll give him that. He's big, he's athletic, and he's got that it factor that some guys don't have. But does he have what it takes to become champion? That's a whole other story. This is the big leagues, you know? It's not just about size or skill. Mm -hmm. It's about heart, character, and having that champion mentality. Patu has some of that, sure, but does he have all of it? That's the question. It's Fatu. F A T U fought to. You're right. I did fight to get where I am and look where I am now. Undisputed WWE and Universal Champion, head of my family, and the face of this industry. I'm not afraid of some new upstart group like this Bloodline 2.0. They may have numbers, but I've got the power, I've got the respect, I've got everything that matters. I'm the tribal chief. And I'll be damned if some wannabe copycats are going to take that away from me. So, let's focus on the woman side of things again um, for a quick second. Who are your top five uh, WWE women wrestlers right now on the current roster? I know you said you like Rhea Ripley. She's impressive. She's dominant. She's fierce. Um, let's... Name a top five. What's your top five pick? All right, let's see. One, Rhea Ripley, two, Bianca Belair, three, Becky Lynch, four, Charlotte Flair, five, Asuka. Those are my top five right now. They're all talented. They're, they all bring something different to the table. Um, I have a lot of respect for each and every one of them. Wow, you named that pretty quick right off the bat. Uh, I didn't think you would be able to do that. I guess I just know my stuff, huh? When you've been around as long as I have, you get to know the talent and the industry inside and out. Like, I know who's making a difference and who's not. True, true. So, let's get back with um, the best wrestlers and the worst wrestlers. Um, we really haven't gotten to that part. Who do you think has gotten worse in the WWE ring out of the male superstars of the current roster. All right, let's see. Hmm, if I had to say, I'd say some of the male superstars that have gotten worse would be Baron Corbin. He was once a respected competitor, but lately he's been getting sloppier in the ring. Uh, then there's Jinder Mahal. He had a bit of a rise <laughs> recently, but overall his in-ring skills have been lackluster and I can't forget about Omos. He's big Damn. and he's got strength, but his timing and ring awareness seem to get worse each time he steps into the ring. Oh, damn. Damn, you cooked the hell out of Omos. Holy hell. Ah, that sell from Mahal was a real shocker. It was a blatant disrespect to Jeff Hardy and showed not only a lack of ring skills, but also a lack of respect for the business. Jinder used to have potential, but his recent performances have been more misses than hits. Well, what do you think of Tonga Loa? He's becoming the next laughing stock, and he's a part of your bloodline. Well, the new bloodline, not your bloodline, but the new bloodline. 
He's been botching every chance he got. Do you got any advice for? Look, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Noah has been struggling lately in the ring. He's got potential, yes, but he's been making too many mistakes and letting his emotions get the best of him. He needs to focus on his training, get more reps in, and work on his in-ring psychology. As for advice, my suggestion to him is to find a mentor or a coach who can help him iron out the wrinkles and become the best he can be. He's young, he's got time to learn and grow, but he gotta buckle down and make it happen. Why don't you coach or mentor? Look, I'm not just gonna handhold every young wrestler who's struggling. They've gotta prove themselves first and, and show their, their worth, my time and effort. I've been busting my ass for years to get where I am today. I didn't have nobody holding my hand. I had to fight and claw my way to the top and I did it my way. So if Tomo Ganoa wants to get better, he can find his own mentor or coach. I ain't here to babysit. Um, but what about Cody Rhodes? Um, what do you think about his current WWE run as the champion on SmackDown after defeating you at WrestleMania? Cody, oh, Cody, he's been making a comeback. I'll give him that. And his championship run on SmackDown has been all right, I guess. But let's make this clear. He got lucky at WrestleMania. He got a taste of success and rode that wave. Good for him. But don't mistake that for a career. I've seen his type before. And trust me, things won't last for him. He's got a target on his back now. And every superstar will be gunning for him. That is very true. Um, I do appreciate your time here. Um, one more question uh, before I go. I want to know what you thought of The Shield and how WWE handled The Shield uh, exit. The Shield, huh? They were a solid group, I got to say. They had chemistry, they worked well together, and they made an impact. Uh, when they debuted. As for how WWE handled him, well, I think they could have been even bigger. They had the talent and the potential to be a truly dominant force in the WWE, but it felt like they didn't quite reach their full potential. But hey, they had their time in the spotlight and, and uh, made their mark on the industry. Y'all did good. I mean, it was you, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins. Y'all did really, really well for yourself. Um, Y'all broke out from the show, you and Seth became champions, even Dean had a couple of the championships runs, um, what do you think of Dean, though, leaving WWE and going to AEW? Oh, Dean, I mean, John Moxley now, I guess, him leaving WWE for AEW was unexpected, I'll say that, we had our differences, no doubt about that, but I respected the guy. He had talent, charisma, and a unique edge to him. But hey, he, he made his choice, and he, he's doing his thing over there. I'll admit, I've seen some of his matches in AEW, and he's still got that fire. Good for him, I guess. Yeah, but a lot of people aren't liking his matches, or they're saying he's putting uh, blood in his matches way too much. He's always wanted to do some dangerous stunt maneuvers, and... They think that is the reason why he left WWE, because he wasn't allowed to do those things. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I've seen that, and honestly, it's, it's a bit much for me. I get that he's all about the hardcore stuff, but every match can't just be a bloodbath. As for the reason he left WWE, I can't say for sure. Maybe creative differences, maybe he wanted more freedom in his matches, or maybe he just wanted a change. But honestly, I think he'll find out that there's a limit to how much, you know, blood and risk you can put in a match before it just becomes distasteful. That is true. That is true. Well, I think that's it for now. Um, I appreciate your time, Roman. Uh, did you have any questions for me? Nah, I think you've done a fine job with this interview. You, you asked some good questions and uh, kept it interesting. Uh, I'll give you that. But if you ever want to talk wrestling again, you know where to find me. Um, the head of the table is always willing to chat. No problem, no problem. And you know where to find me at, right?
I'll remember that. Hey, keep up the good work. You've got a lot of potential and a good wrestling mind. Mm -hmm. I can tell you're passionate about this business and that's what it's all about. Keep pushing, keep grinding, and you'll go far. Maybe one day we'll meet in the ring. Nah, I don't think I'll get in the ring, but I appreciate that. Appreciate your kind words. I'm out of here. My name's Ayo Punky. And again, figure out, uh, I guess, subscribing to me. And, you know, hit me up. Do it. S tell them to do it, Roman. I don't know what else more to say. Tell them to subscribe. You're a funny one, A.O. Punky. I like that attitude and that passion. All right, folks, you heard I.O. Punky. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for him. Give him some love, spread the word, and show some respect to a, a fellow wrestling fan. Peace. Peace, A.O. Take care and always remember, acknowledge me. I acknowledge you, brother. And that's what I like to hear. Stay tuned, man. You never know what the future holds in this crazy business.